Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I want to do a little bit of coloring and my thoughts with these Deli plastic crayons. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so I was gifted this by my amazing friend uh, Pixie from Pixie's Projects. I'll go ahead and link her channel below for my birthday along with some other things. I'll actually have a separate video showing all of the things that I've gotten for my birthday, uh, but that's going to be in something else. But I did want to use this with you guys uh, because I've been playing around a little bit with it today and I certainly have some thoughts. Now there's some other things that I want to do with this, but just doing a straight up color um i certainly wanted to show that to you guys so these are the deli color emotion plastic crayons um this is from amazon and i know that because i got the amazon box uh it does have color names but not on the pencil which is fine uh i don't swatch so it's helpful if I'm looking for something for like Corey's alphabet challenge, because you guys know how I like to use that. But otherwise, uh, none of this really makes any difference to me. And uh, it comes in this plastic case right here. And probably I'm going to leave this as is. Just like that. And so when I use it, I'll have this on my desk. And then when I'm done, I'll just shove it back on here. I do have some pencil cases that I've purchased in the past. Um, I, I don't know. I've, I'm trying to think of the easiest way. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, these are not going to be a go-to medium for me. And that's just because my go-to medium is alcohol markers. I get the biggest bang for my buck um, because I get the color saturation uh, that I want, but also it's not as taxing on my hands. But uh, the other thing I want to test, whether I do it on camera with you guys, I'm not sure, is how this layers on top of alcohol markers because uh, I do have some thoughts about how it layers on itself. So this is what we're going to be using. Uh, I will be coloring in here. I am working on a page for the month of July. Uh, this is Erie's World History, a tracing book. I do have a buddy color with my girl Tammy and so we're, I'm actually going to be working on that page with you guys. And it's this page right here and if you're not familiar with these tracing books, my desk is small, so I gotta shuffle things around. This is what it looks like untraced, and you couldn't certainly color it just like this. I've never actually tried to do one of these tracing books without tracing it, uh, but because I do trace it, uh, these books are not my go-to. I love the images, but I feel like I have to do double work because first I'm tracing everything, and then I'm coloring everything but that's fine i do love this book and so uh, as you can see i do have some color down that i've already used and i've only ever used this on this particular page right here so uh just in case you're interested um i'll go ahead and link this particular book down below in my description box i don't generally link things i'll link these as well just so that it's easier for you guys to find any links that i can find from uh just amazon us will be affiliate links uh if i can't find this on amazon us and more than likely i can't then the affiliate link or the link will be to Amazon Japan, and those are not affiliate links. And I do put uh, specifications in my description box just so you know what is an affiliate and what isn't. Affiliate doesn't change the cost for you. It does just uh, kick a small commission to me if you decide to use the link. All right, so done with that. Uh, as you can see, uh, I actually like the vibrancy of it. Now, the, the pros of this so far, and I haven't used every single color, but so far, some of the colors um, have been a lot more pigmented than I anticipated. It seems to work well on this paper. And as you can see, uh, you can do a little bit of layering. The con on this is because I have big Samoan man hands, I feel like I'm gonna snap the crayon in two. Although I'm not gonna lie, if I had a Crayola, it'd probably be the same thing. It also feels a little weird. I mean, it certainly feels like plastic. So you're like, this is not going to have any kind of pigment. Uh, but because it is plastic and not wax, or maybe there's some wax formula in this. I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, <laughs> but uh, 
I don't feel like um, it's going to get warm in my hand to the point that I'm going to kind of bend it because I have such hard pressure on it. It feels interesting. It is a, a triangle kind of barrel. There is no paper, so you can use this whole thing. I have not tried to sharpen these. I don't know how that would work in a sharpener. I don't know that it has any instructions. But so far, I am enjoying it. Uh, when I worked with crayons in another picture a couple months ago, that was very hard on my hands. And so I don't feel this has that same kind of difficulty with my hands. But I do know that some of the color pigments, at least on this paper, uh, don't want to show. Like on his skin, it's this one right here. But then it also could be uh, that I have a lot of oils in my hands and I don't ever protect my pages. So it could be there's just some of that. Uh, so some of the darker uh, colors definitely seem to work better than some of the lighter colors. But again, this is the only page that I've used these on and clearly I have not used all the colors. But I did want to do a little bit of coloring with you guys. I'm not gonna finish this page with you because I want to show you how it goes down but also want to do a little bit of layering with you guys just to show you that yes it can be layered although i think there is a tipping point in which you're just not going to get any more layers the colors are pretty good uh it doesn't lean like these are the only two brownish ones let's look at the box so there's a warm yellow and a zen brown, but lots of greens and blues and like reds and purples. So yeah, if it's, if it's uh, thin on any colors, it would be the browns. But again, I don't think that's gonna be such a bad thing. And so let's do some of the tent here. So I did color this part with this color here. And because this is like a layered look, let's do another color underneath. And it does just seem to glide right on. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I have not used this in any other book. So like for Amazon paper, that already is not even a pencil kind of paper for me. Uh, and if you guys know, the Amazon paper... Uh, it's like a step up from copy paper or the newsprinty, or definitely better than the newsprinty stuff that kids are given in their coloring books. But it's not the greatest. And so those are definitely alcohol marker work books for me. Uh, so I don't know that I will be doing any testing in them with these. But again, I will be interested to see how they work on top of alcohol markers. I don't know if there's a smaller set. I actually don't even know the price point on these. I don't, I've heard of Delhi before, but I, I don't know that the, the Delhi products that I've heard of were these plastic crayons. Cause when I got it and it had the little gift thing in it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I've, I've never even seen these. But Pixie did want to see my thoughts on these. And for some people, the whole white of the page peeking through drives you crazy and you'd feel the need to either burnish harder because this is pretty much medium pressure for me. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm not pressing too soft. Um, so you can definitely see the white of the page, but I do like um, a lot of the times when, if I'm using pencils or something like this, where it does look like a coloring page, because I think when you start burnishing into it, you definitely get a lovely effect. Um, and sometimes it even looks to the point where it's like a magazine page, where it's just no white space, heavily saturated by color. But I don't necessarily feel like I need to get that effect. And for some people, that's that's exactly the outcome that they want. For me, my outcomes are, did I have fun? And does it look decent? <laughs> I'd like it to look amazing. But if it looks decent, then I'm going to be happy. So that's just one-ish coats of it. So you see, it goes down rather nicely. It is very smooth, right? It's, it's an interesting 
kind of coloring tool because I mean, in my head, it's like I'm, I'm coloring with plastic. It certainly, I don't want to say it feels waxy because it doesn't, but there are certainly a, a, a kind of an emollient, maybe that's more of the thing, a kind of feel to it. As you can see, I can put a little bit of layering on here. I'm not caring about a light source. Uh, I generally don't. Um, I'm more interested, does my picture look interesting? If upon closer inspection, you're like, oh, so there's like three suns where this is? Yes, let's just say there is. <laughs> but if it looks interesting, then, then I consider it uh, time well spent. Because again, my coloring hobby is more to help me deal with anxiety and stress than it is for me to feel like I'm being artistic or to level up any kind of artistic skill. And see that in and of itself, just adding a little bit of just coloring where some of the lines are, I think brings a lot more interest to this side of the swag than you can see on this one. I don't know if these are meant to layer. And it certainly seems to be sitting on top. There definitely is a, a slickness. I don't know if I'm actually rubbing out anything. It's hard to tell. So let's go back over that with this. And I don't mind testing out pages like this, just blind, because again, I, I don't swatch anything, so I didn't know what these colors would look like. I didn't know how these would feel like, but for me, it's just, it's gonna be an interesting um, activity to see how they work. This page is going to be doubly enjoyable to me because it's a buddy color with my girl Tammy and we are slowly working through our Eerie collection, but also uh, these are a gift. And so I just, I don't know, I'm very sentimental in that respect. <laughs> and I just, I like the thought of that. So, is this the color we just used? I don't remember what that was, but it is. No, I think it was this one. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if we can add some dimension in here. Now, I'm going to try to burnish. And that's just using really heavy pressure. There's a little bit of, I don't even know what that's called, flake off. Yeah, because you can see that there's texture. It's like it grips in some parts, but in, not in others. And it's definitely slipping more on top of itself than on the page itself. You're not going to get a very heavy saturation of color. And I mean, not gonna lie, this is a nice saturation of color, but you're not going to get much darker than this. Cause I think we're at that wall. Well, okay, if I rub it, it doesn't go into the other sections, um, but you can definitely see that there's plastic flakes, there's, there's a look to this, and hopefully in editing I can zoom in, that I don't know that I've seen in other mediums. I've got my crayons off to the side of me, so let me actually pull those out and see if I can give you a description. 
For me, it's more of how they feel in my hands. Uh, Pixie did mention that's why she wanted uh, me to test these out. And again, just from memory of the last time I used crayons, these definitely feel better as long as I'm not trying to get the burnished effect because now I, I can feel the pressure, uh, not in just in my hand, but also in my, my elbow and my shoulders. Uh, but if I'm just doing light coloring like I did this, then it felt fine. So yeah, it's definitely, you can definitely add color, but it does get to a point where it doesn't like it because there's this kind of look to it. I'm not mad at it. I think it gives it an effect. Uh, just, I don't know that uh, many of you would enjoy it. A box of 24 crayons. And the thing with crayons, and I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys, but once I lose the point and I am required to uh, tear off paper, I am probably never going to use that crayon again. <laughs> that was something I had when I was a kid and I have not outgrow that. So I'm gonna choose these colors right here. So violet red, carnation pink, and cerulean. And let's see how these feel. So these already feel more awkward, but it's more because it's it's shorter, right? These are definitely good for kids who have small hands, but for someone like me who has big Samoan man hands, uh, I do like the feeling that it extends past there. So that's already a win for those. This certainly feels softer. And the book that I used these in, it wasn't an Amazon printed book, but it was a very similar type feel of paper. And I didn't like how that felt in my hands because I'm, I'm always fighting against pain. This definitely feels waxier. And is there a color? in the delis that are similar. Now these you can burnish and the color is going to get a little bit more saturated than I feel you can get in the delis. And unlike the delis, I'm not getting that, oh no, I'm a liar. Yeah, you can see it in this one right here. Once you continue adding layers, you're getting a wax buildup to the point that you can actually scrape off crayon. Although that's not a bad look if you're willing to put in the time because then you can get like a stained effect right to there. But see how much crayon I was actually able to fleck off? Let's see if you can do the same here. Well, you can, you can see that right there. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't mind that look. I'm just saying now I probably will want to put a protective something on here because I don't know once it's closed and if there's any rubbing, if that's going to transfer over, I don't seal my pages. I don't like doing extra steps because that just takes away the enjoyment for me. But uh, let me actually try some things, this color or this color. So there's that one, and there's that one. This definitely works a little bit better with that. Let's see what happens if we layer. Because I do know I don't want to use crayon. <laughs> I don't like that waxy feeling. In my Prismas, it's fine, but in this, um, again, it feels more comfortable, so uh, if I can get a pretty close color match, then I'll probably just do that. Although once the page is done. Oh, okay. I do have a brush. I don't know where it is, but let's, oh no. Okay, can you erase crayon?
Eh, that's it's better because I do want this to be checkered. <laughs> okay, so let's put this down. We'll put a light layer of crayon. And then let's use this one. As sort of one of those blender pens. I kind of like that. I also like how it feels. And it does feel different than when I was coloring this on top of itself. Huh. That's interesting. Now it's not the perfect color match. Oh, oh, I think I was supposed to use this one. Hmm. If you guys were yelling at me, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. Yeah, I'd say by way of any kind of color change, three layers probably would be the most. And I'm a bit committed now, at least for this tablecloth, and so I will do several different layers. But otherwise, um, one or two probably would be the most for me. But I do like the effect. I, I definitely like the feel of these in my hand more than the crayons. The crayons are definitely softer, waxier, but they're also smaller. And um, just using that little bit, uh, my fingers are going a little bit numb. I didn't have that feeling when I was using these. And so I'm very happy that uh, Pixie sent those to me. And I will be finishing this particular page with mostly the deli, although I'll finish with this crayon here. I'll put these away, I won't be using those. And even though this is the color range that I have, I think that's certainly more than enough colors for me to be able to complete a page. If you don't believe me, check out Evers from The Humanity because sometimes she uses like five colors and she gets amazing finishes. So the amount of colors that you have, at least for me, certainly help because in that way I don't have to feel the need to blend anything together to get different colors, but you can certainly do a lot with just a limited range of materials. And that way, I mean, if I need to make decisions and I don't want to have my desk full of things because I just don't have the space for it, then it just sort of forces me to think, okay, well with this, what can I get on my page? Again, for the way that I color, that's perfectly fine because it's not about the outcome. For others, I think they're looking for a specific vision um, or skill or whatnot and that kind of haphazard do whatever kind of mentality may not work for them. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Pixie, for sending these to me. Thank you so much, Tammy, for doing this as a, a buddy color. You'll see this completed page at the end of the month. Okay, let's let's be real. Uh, probably the middle of August is when it'll go scheduled on my channel. But I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. And do any of you have these pencils? or crayons or whatever they are. Uh, I'd love to know in the comment section below. All right guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.